What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. You guys keep asking for it. This is it. Vic, how much is the budget beast? I want one, take my money. So real quick, big shout out to you guys. You guys are watching the videos, you're liking. There's a bunch of subscribers, new ones. I love it. Keep them coming. Keep the comments coming. You guys know I do answer them. So, so I really appreciate the feedback and all the views. So thank you guys. So real quick, if you take a look at all the budget beast breakdowns that we did, you're going to see a bunch of comments and at least every other comment, it's somebody saying, Vic, how much is it? I want a budget beast. How much is it? So this one today on this episode, we are going to break down every single transaction I did to make the budget beast possible. So now just to keep in mind, because again, you will find me on Letgo, you can find me on YouTube, you can find me on Instagram. So, you know, Letgo is my marketplace for right now. I am making a website, it is almost done. So the website is almost done. It's about maybe 80% done. So there will be a website soon. But for right now, I'm on Letgo. And the biggest thing that some people, some customers and some people, some viewers that don't really understand is that some people think that I just have cabinets in the back, hanging out, like, you know, just chilling, ready to be built. I don't really have that, I don't really do that. I now, I mean, I've been doing it for six years. I've learned now that I'm no longer just the type of person to receive a message, somebody's like, hey, I want this, and then I'm gonna go out and get the hardware. No, I don't work that way anymore. I need a deposit. So I'm gonna show you a let go conversation real quick. Uh, I'm gonna just do it on my phone over the shoulder. Um, basically, I had a customer that wanted a control panel and basically he, I, I, I messaged him for like an hour, we're going back and forth. And then when it came time for me to say, hey, listen, I need a deposit, it's about 50%. The guy said, oh, you know what, Never mind. forget it. So I really don't know what the purpose is for messaging me then. I do need a deposit to at least get the hardware. You're just paying for the hardware. That's why I'm making this video. A lot of people assume that I have another budget beast in the back waiting to be sold, no. The budget beast, I mean, once you break down everything, hardware alone, it came out to at least $1,000. Hardware alone, that's not how much I sold it for, that is hardware alone. So I don't wanna jump on this video. Let's put the camera down. I'm gonna probably blast the pictures on the screen. I don't know how it's gonna show up on my TV here, but we're gonna break down each thing and understand why the budget beast cost what it is. Okay guys, so I mean again, I don't, I know, I'm pretty sure you can't see the TV. I'm just going to wind up just blasting the picture, but we're going to just take a look real quick at the cost and the hardware that I personally purchased to put into Morris's bar top, the budget beast. Okay. So keep in mind, Morris bought a custom artwork bar top from Game Room Solutions, which I always send it to do. He bought a custom bar top and he also bought a custom stand that was on his end. My responsibility was everything else. So I'm gonna tell you what I paid and then we're actually gonna just add the other two just to show you what it cost in hardware alone. So real quick, the first thing we have to look at is the Dell Optiplex. The Dell Optiplex that we got, again, it's running an i5, 16 gigs of RAM, two terabyte hard drive, not including the graphics card. It is a certified refurbished beast. It's, it's refurbished, so again, trying to save money. The Dell Optiplex alone, the Dell Optiplex alone came out to $248. So let's just round up to make things easy. It was $250 for just the Dell Optiplex alone, okay? The next thing that came after the Dell Optiplex was the graphics card, the GTX 1050 Ti. The graphics card alone was $195. Let's round it up to $200. I just wanna work with easy numbers. It's just easy that way. So graphics card was 200 bucks, okay? Now the other thing really missing from the computer side of things is the hard drive, the external hard drive, which is the four terabyte My Passport that I paid $91.95. Let's just go to $95, okay? So again, just the computer side alone, the Dell Optiplex, the graphics card, and the hard drive. So right now we're at two terabytes with the Dell, plus the four terabytes was the six terabyte beast that we have it. We right now alone with just the computer is $545, okay? We did make a video on that. I did state the exact same number for just the computer side alone. Only the computer, okay? Now the other add-ons that occurred, and I don't have this up, so we're gonna do it real quick. 
The other add-ons, we go to Game Room Solutions. As Morris is built, he requested Sanwa sticks with LED buttons. Okay, the Sanwa sticks are gonna come out to 100 bucks. I'm just gonna show you real quick. We go to the joystick bundle. We got a two-player. We got a two-player Sanwa sticks, chrome illuminated buttons, 100 bucks. Luckily, Ryan doesn't charge shipping. He doesn't charge tax. So it's 100 bucks just for the buttons on that okay what else are we missing on the computer side again i actually forgot the computer side we do have the fans the led fans that i purchased which i don't really want to i mean no we're going to count it we are going to count it the only thing about the led fans is that i only use three fans on the build instead of the five that it gave me so i believe it was 20 bucks for the fans let's just take a look real quick yeah we got the five pack of fans. It was 20 bucks. I only used three fans. It was plenty enough. So, I mean, five divided by 20 is $4 a fan. You pay 12 bucks for a fan. Let's just keep it at the 20, okay? That right there, again, computer side alone. Now your add-ons. Now we're talking about the Xbox controllers. You needed the dongle. It didn't come with the whole, um, it didn't come with the Bluetooth radio. The Dell Xbox did not have a Bluetooth radio. So you did need a dongle. It was 25 bucks for the dongle. I just actually want to load that up to make sure there was no tax. There was tax. It is 27.21. So we are actually going to make it to an even 30 bucks. That is just the dongle alone. Next, we have the Xbox controllers. Two of them, the white and the black. 95 bucks. Just make it 100 bucks to make it easy. You're at 795 right now. 795 dollars alone right now um that's really it honestly that that right there we have we added the joysticks we have all that the only little stuff now you could think about is like the led strip which i do get on amazon i found a great strip honestly because it's very strong uh i think it's 20 bucks for the led strip i'll take a look right now because i just placed an order for it yeah it's 20 bucks for the led strip this is a good one you're at 815 we're at $815 alone right now in just just the parts. The last thing we're missing, if you think about what the audio was, the Z313s. I get that at Micro Center. I do find those sometimes as open boxed. So they are 25 bucks. We're at 840. So, I mean, I believe, yes, I'm pretty sure I hit everything possible. It was 840 bucks that I paid out of pocket for Morris's budget beast. I'm just trying to make sure that I'm missing anything because I did try to practice this and rehearse this and I did miss a couple of things. But no, I believe that that's most, the, the arcade power button, uh, the power switch, the actual arcade button, I have a bunch of those so we're not gonna count that. But in all honesty, it's $840 on just the computer side of things. Like that's it, just the computer side of things. I really hope, oh, as far as because i'm trying to think because i did ask mars mars paid me 900 bucks for just the hardware alone as a deposit that i took the only thing that we are missing was the monitor from micro center the 22 inch monitor that's going to come out to 90 bucks i believe that's an asus uh, 21 inch yep asus it's 89.99 we're going to just round it to 100 bucks because of the tax so 940 okay it was $940 alone in a hardware. That's not including the cabinet. Okay, keep in mind you are looking at a custom cabinet, custom artwork, not a regular one. So if we do the bar top deluxe kit, no USB cut. I'm not gonna do the controls because we already have it. We're gonna add the graphics pre-installed. This way he does it. He did have a bezel, so he did have to add that. No mega pack. The cabinet alone came out to $374. Okay, $375, I should say, because of the cents. So you say I want. We're at $1315 right now. $1,315. The last thing that um, Morris had on his build, which was really cool, was the stand. I didn't see the stand. 
He bought the stand with the custom artwork. I never did this before. Let's see. I'm guessing he chose um, the color of the T molding. What is the price on this? 270 bucks. 1585. Mars, right now, the hardware alone is $1,585, okay? It's $1,585 just to have the hardware for the budget beast, okay? So now when I sold it to Mars, I made Mars a deal because he was my first ever bar top. So I, I, I sold it to him for a kind of, a little bit of a discount because of the amount of time it took. If you remove the stand, which I had no doing for, let's just remove that out of the price real quick. It came out to 1315 in hardware alone. I asked Mars for 1800. Okay? I sold Mars's bar chop for 1800 because I knew it was going to take me 3 months to build it. He was my first one, so he's really my tester, I would say. So I gave him a little bit of a break with a little bit of discount. The next one that's going to go out is going to cost $2500. I would have to ask for 2500 because it is very time consuming and there's a lot of stuff to be involved with, especially with the hyper spin build that's going on. So the budget beast does cost i mean keep in mind hyperspin is not an easy copy and paste thing it's it's not that easy some people assume it if you do assume it go ahead kudos to you but it is not um so keep in mind again yes i am looking for about a thousand dollars for the build but again that's me doing everything setting everything up exactly what you see on the build is what you would get so the budget beast would cost 2500 that does not include shipping people don't understand that uh, shipping, you got to keep in mind the budget beast. I think I waited. It probably clocked in at about maybe 35 pounds because again, dial optiplex, the monitor, there was a lot of stuff going on on that build. So again, there you have it. The budget beast is 2,500. So now real quick, I just want to show you a comparison real quick. I'm not trying to compare myself to other people, but game room solutions. I always shout them out. Ryan over there does some amazing stuff. Let's just take a look at what Ryan does for a regular bar top okay we're just gonna pick one it looks like they're all the same you're looking at 1100 bucks for a plug and play bar top let's see what this has this is running a raspberry pi it's a raspberry pi 200 gigabyte sd card so 1100 bucks is going to get you that this actually looks like this does not have illuminated buttons going on if you want that this specific one there's not illuminated buttons on it so it's going to cost you 1100 bucks shipped plug and play i don't know if that's including shipping i'm not going to go that far in depth but 1100 bucks is going to get you a raspberry pi build i would sell you a pc based build for 2500 not including shipping obviously please don't message me shipping is not included on any of the builds because i rarely ship these things but again keep that in mind there you have it the budget beast costed after everything i mean 1315 on my end 1585 all together if you include this stand for the bar top so there you guys have it pc base build budget beast catch you on the next one